with the hamburger and, and the fries and onion rings. You gotta eat all that so you don't get hit. Oh! Twins, robots, and the Golden Girls? What do they all have in common? Well, here are 10 of the weirdest theme restaurants. Safe House. Can you imagine me as a spy? Oh my God. Located in Wisconsin, this restaurant is Milwaukee's only spy bar and restaurant. They invite you and your fellow spies to join in on the city's best kept secret since 1966. You can enjoy a covert daytime investigation or a fun night out. Safe House is a family friendly restaurant, and junior spies get to enjoy scavenger hunts, magic, and of course, delicious food. The young spies in training get souvenir color changing cups and mission activity guides to help them explore Safe House. After 9 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays, all spies must be 21 years of age or older. Agents must pass an ID check. If they meet the requirements, the agents may then participate in Code Red club nights. There are live DJs, and of course, there are drink specials. This is a perfect place for people who have always wanted to experience clandestine cloak and dagger fantasies. The building is inconspicuously marked as International Exports LTD. Only those in the know really know what's inside. What's in the f box? Once inside, there are exciting secret passages and very cool trap doors. Plainly no ordinary restaurant. Heart Attack Grill. Anyways, you know what to do now. What I do best, turn my heart off. This extraordinary restaurant is located in Las Vegas, Nevada. Diners are given their costumes as they enter. They wear hospital gowns before indulging in heart attack inducing meals, such as the Bypass Burger. Diners who weigh over 350 pounds get to eat for free. They do need to step on an electronic cattle scale in order to prove their weight. The waitresses are dressed as very scantily clad nurses. The prescribed diet at Heart Attack Grill is all about cholesterol all packed meals. Amongst the menu items is a four pound octuple bypass burger, which amounts to a 20,000 calorie burger when all dressed up. It contains 40 slices of bacon, eight and a half beef patties, 16 slices of cheese, a whole onion, two tomatoes, chili, and buns. There's also a uniquely refreshing butterfat milkshake, and you can also order some flatliner fries. The flatliner fries are cooked in lard. You can order them topped with chili, cheese, and bacon. They also offer a half-pound hot dog called the Coronary Dog. Oh, and if you don't finish your food at the Heart Attack Grill, you get spanked. Their goal is to get their patients to finish the whole meal. They hope to get all the calories you might need for a week into your body in just one visit to the restaurant. That's a party platter. It serves 12 people. I know what I'm about, son. Every aspect of the restaurant urges you to disregard your health. The burgers range in size from one patty to eight patties, and of course, they're named after the medical procedure you may need if you eat too many. There's also a rule printed on the menu forbidding diners to share. The menu also happens to include unfiltered cigarettes. So basically, whatever happens at the Heart Attack Grill stays at the Heart Attack Grill. El Peron Peron. I'm getting on a bus to Florida. What's in Florida? Airport, I'm flying our Argentina. Located in Buenos Aires, Argentina, this theme restaurant is dedicated to Argentina's former president, Juan Perón, and his wife, Eva Evita Perón. There's a shrine decorated with old portraits, vintage memorabilia, newspapers, flags, and uniforms, along with candles, buttons, and propaganda. The decor pays tribute to the Peronism political movement. At night, the restaurant broadcasts a song that honors the couple called Marcha Peronista. When played, all of their supporters stand up, wave napkins around their heads, and sing with the refrain, Viva Peron, very loudly. Wow. El Peron Peron's menu has cocktails named We Are the Resistance and Nestor is Alive. The food items range from paprika-flavored sardines and vegetables to a South American fish called pacu, which is related to the piranha. There are empanadas, wines, and an extremely decadent dulce con leche dessert. The restaurant has a very good reputation. The portions are huge and the prices are not. Twin Stars Diner. I'm Vincent's brother. We're twins. 
You go out to dinner and suddenly think you're suffering from double vision, and then you realize you're not. You're simply at Twin Stars, a diner in Moscow, Russia, that only hires identical twin brothers and twin sisters as waiters and waitresses. The twins have to wear the exact same outfits to work. Not only that, but when they're taking your order, they have to speak in unison. Jinx, buy me a Coke. Oh snap, man, we're still saying the same thing. So what's the reason behind the owner's decision to open this 1950s-style diner, you ask? It was simply because of a movie he had watched. He'd seen a Soviet movie called Kingdom of Crooked Mirrors, and he had been inspired by it. In the movie, there's a girl who finds her twin in a magic mirror. In the surreal movie, Olya, the main character, looks in a mirror and sees a twin of herself in an alternate reality. However, the reflection she sees, called Yalo, has a complete completely different personality. He thought of the idea for the restaurant after seeing the movie. When identical twins come to the diner as customers, they are treated to special menu deals, such as specially discounted items. Show your support by hitting that like button. We do appreciate it. Now, let's keep going. The show goes on! Yeah! The Robot Restaurant Meet Morpsy In China's Heilongjiang province, the robot restaurant employs more than 20 actual robots instead of humans. They are employed as servers, entertainers, and chefs. Game changer. One robot actually sings to the customers. The restaurant has become a novelty spot in the province's capital of Harbin. As soon as a patron walks in, an usher robot reaches out their mechanical arm to the side and says, Earth person, hello, welcome to the robot restaurant. Diners can place their orders, and humans relay their order to one of the four robot chefs, who are actually fully equipped to cook assorted styles of dumplings and noodles. Once the meal is prepared, a robot waiter slash waitress who gets around via tracks implemented on the floor will get it to your table. And when the robot reaches the right table, their mechanical arm lifts it off and sets it down. The robots are approximately four to five feet tall. Their faces are able to convey ten different expressions. That's more than some human weight staff often convey while serving. The robots need to be charged for two hours, and then they can work for approximately five hours. However, the robots do cost approximately $40,000 each. The Golden Girls Kitchen You remember that? Show? This is a TV-themed pop-up restaurant which will have a run in Beverly Hills and then go on tour, heading to New York, Miami, San Francisco, and Chicago. CHICAGO! The Big Apple! The Golden Girls Kitchen is a collaboration between Derek Berry, who was behind Saved by the Max, The Peach Pit, and Good Burger, and Bucket Listers. Berry said that bringing the Golden Girls show to life had always been a dream of his, and that the demand for it has far surpassed his wildest dreams. The Golden Girls had its heyday years ago, running for seven seasons from 1985 to 1992, but it has enjoyed a resurgence thanks to streaming platforms and its continued syndication. People can reserve tickets to dine at the restaurant on its website. A ticket includes your choice of an entree and a dessert. Menu items include Sofia's lasagna al forno and, of course, cheesecake. Cabbages and condoms. Condoms! The original Cabbages and Condoms is a non-profit restaurant located in Bangkok, Thailand. The name is indeed odd, but it is a restaurant that's intended to promote safe sex practices. The founders of Cabbage and Condoms believed that birth control should be just as easy to access as vegetables from a market would be. That's interesting. That's very interesting. The profits go towards supporting development programs initiated by the Population and Community Development Association (PCDA). Cabbages and Condoms started started out as a small vegetable shop on PCDA office premises where it sold veggies along with t-shirts, keychains, lace panties, condoms, and most importantly, oral contraceptives. Talk about strange souvenirs to go along with your veggies. Of course, the name always puts smiles on the faces of people passing by, and the name definitely draws people into the shop, even just to appease their curiosity. In the 70s, a small outdoor restaurant was added. This restaurant served spicy chicken salad and green papaya salad, and these dishes were considered amongst the best in Bangkok. Slowly, more menu items gained a positive reputation and more and more outsiders started showing up. Needless to say, the small restaurant was eventually expanded. The decor features a variety of colorful condoms arranged to form various statues, flowers, and even a Santa Claus. They now serve delicious assorted curries, assorted pad thai dishes, and sweet rice, amongst other specialty dishes 
dishes as well. When the check comes, instead of receiving mints, the diners are given free condoms. Cabbages and Condoms has branched out, operating not only in Thailand, but in England and Japan as well. Solos, the airplane restaurant. Good news is we'll be landing immediately. Bad news is we're crash landing. People have always complained about airplane food, with some resorting to tossing a sandwich into their carry-on bags for long flights. This aviation-themed restaurant in Colorado Springs, Colorado will change everyone's minds about their food consumption in an airplane. It's gonna be legend, wait for it, dairy. They serve up classic American dishes in one of the coolest settings in the state, an old tanker plane. Some diners get to eat inside the restaurant's main centerpiece, a fully intact Boeing KC-97 tanker, which mainly refueled other planes. Built in 1953, the airplane refueled other aircraft while flying in midair. In May 2002, it was redesignated for another special mission to be the center of attention of the preeminent aviation restaurant in the United States. 42 diners can eat in this plane, found within the 275-seat capacity restaurant. The decor is very rich in aviation history. There are hundreds of pictures, assorted aviation memorabilia, and vintage collectibles, along with rare artifacts. You also have access to a once-working cockpit, an amazing thrill for kids in your group. There are also plane models throughout the terminal attached to the restaurant. No complaints about the food here. Menu items include steak, seafood, and sandwiches. And of course, the hosting staff and the waiters and waitresses are all dressed in airline attire. The Magic Time Machine The flow of reverse time is beginning to affect us as well! At this restaurant, found in both Dallas and San Antonio, the wait staff are dressed as pop culture icons from the present, past, and future. There are a wide variety of princesses, superheroes, and pirates. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. The Magic Time Machine restaurant first opened its doors in 1973 in San Antonio, Texas. The owner's desire was to provide amazing food served in a cool atmosphere by fun servers. The costumed characters are certainly fun and entertaining. The food is delicious, and there's a very special kids' menu specifically designed with youngsters in mind. There are several dining rooms, and no seating areas are alike. In San Antonio, diners can sit in an attic, in a thatched hut, in an old refrigerator, or at the sweetheart's table. You may also end up eating inside a carousel, a bus, a rocket ship, or a library. The one consistent at all of their locations is the salad bar. A shiny red 1952 MG car has been modified to serve as a soup and salad bar. You're allowed a trip to the car with every meal. What sets the Magic Time Machine apart is their zany cast of characters. The entertainment comes from the fun interactions with the servers in a family friendly environment. Eat the Undersea Restaurant Fish for sport only, not for meat. Fish meat is practically a vegetable. The first rule when opening a restaurant is location, location, location. Well, this restaurant in Divehi is located five meters below sea level off the Conrad Rangali Island in the Republic of Maldives. Itha means mother of pearl, and this restaurant is a rare pearl in the restaurant world. This truly is one of the most interesting restaurants ever created. It only seats 14 guests at a time, and diners get in via a spiral staircase from a jetty. Once inside, they find themselves surrounded by incredible panoramic views of the reef. They can watch various fish species swimming around the transparent structure that surrounds them. Shut up and take my money! The menu features assorted Asian and European cuisine, with specialties being seafood, of course. You, you like seafood, do you? Come on! Oh! 